Hey, hey guys, it's John here. No, it's not. It's Cobra the Enemy fighting G.I. Joe. <laughs> yeah, today we have, con we're continuing our snow theme and we've got the Cobra Wolf. I think it's Winter Winter Operations Light Vehicle, right? Or Light Light Fighter Vehicle? I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> it spells Wolf. Winter Operations Light Fighter Vehicle, maybe? Is what it says? Because they, they put vehicle at the end, I think. Anyways, it's the Cobra Wolf. <laughs> Whatever Wolf stands for. You guys can let me know in the comments below. I think it's Winter Operations Light Fighter Vehicle or something like that. Yeah, something like that. They do put vehicle at the end. I don't remember. <laughs> but anyways, this thing was awesome. This is Cobra's answer to the uh, to the Snowcat. And we're going through... Now, I'm missing the driver for this, the Ice Viper. I need to get that driver. Um, I'll show him real quick. Here's the Ice Viper with his helmet, and he's got two Psy daggers. So yeah, I need that guy. But this thing is awesome. I mean, I've got three Cobra Snow Vipers on here, Snow Troopers. And they're, they're taking the place of the Ice Viper driver for now. Um... I don't have any of the gear for these guys. I've got a generic gun in this guy's hand, but um, I've got three Vipers, but no gear. It kind of sucks. They, they should have um, a backpack, a rifle, some snowshoes. There may have been a, a bag or something. I don't remember exactly, but I know it's at least snowshoes, a backpack, and a gun for each of these guys. Now, this one in the cockpit, his fingers are broken. His thumbs are both broken off. And he's pretty much a beater. He's in bad shape, so I don't really need to get any weapons for him. He can just be the cockpit co-pilot guy and be happy with that. But um, the other two, I'd like to at least get backpack and weapons for, if not the uh, snowshoes. Because they can hang out up there and just do, you know, whatever. <laughs> but the uh, the Ice Viper guys were pretty cool. They had cool masks. They were snow guys. All decked out in the furriness and snow attire. Cobra emblems on their arms. Pretty cool detail. Pretty cool snow viper trooper guys. Yeah, really liked them. Let's check out this vehicle, though. This vehicle's awesome. Now, I believe this one is complete. I think... I don't think there's anything I'm missing on this particular vehicle. Like, most of... A lot of my vehicles, I'm missing a missile or missing something here. But I think this one might be complete. <laughs> For once. Now, something cool about this is how many figures it can hold. You can... There's, like, five foot pegs on each side. You've got a dual canopy, one for a guy in the back and a guy in the front, and the canopy's open really wide for you so kids can get their characters in and out, which is really nice. I always like it when a canopy just, look at how far that opens. It's just, you can really get your hands in there and uh, get your guys in and out, which is so cool. Dual stick controls for the front, and again, the, they're they're... The seats are molded in a way so that a guy with his knees slightly bent can get in there and uh, really sit down nice. And parts of this are falling off while I'm doing this. Pretty cool. There's this turret gun on the top, which is really neat. It can go up and down and it spins around. So cool. And then the other thing with these foot pegs is because there's two of them. One foot can be down there, you bend the leg, and the other foot can be up on that peg. Um, so you kind of can get, I, I say like you fit 
two two guys on each side it really because the spacing you can't really fit i mean if they stand up i guess you could get three standing up you know but um to make it look realistic you pretty much just want two but you've got all these pegs to work with to put two feet on there and uh, make it look really cool We've got missiles that slide out here. They are ski missiles again. Cobra symbol on that one. And that's just an ingenious design. They slide right off here. And then you've got this cool like webbing sort of um, design on here. When, when there's no skis on it, which is pretty neat, it looks cool. These ski missiles are, um, I don't know what that symbol is. It's probably the, I probably got this ski miss, skis from two different vehicles. They, they're discolored differently even. So, and then we've got a hidden missile compartment, which is pretty cool. You know, it just kind of pops up. And again, these missiles fly out. They look like that. And they, they clip on with this upper wing thing. So, that's really cool. I think that's an awesome feature to have a sort of hidden missile bay pop up. Yeah, so cool. Love this vehicle, though. I mean, it's just really nice vehicle. Like I said, the guy, co-pilot guy here, the one we've designated as the co-pilot can go in the back here. He can hang out there. This is the best one of the Snow Vipers. He's better. I mean, look at the paint on this one. Barely any scuffs on the boots. Tight joints. This one's a really nice one. It does have a little bit of goo on there. I'm going to have to clean him up. But, um, yeah. Really cool figure. really like these guys I always have I always liked these guys the snow vipers and the uh, the regular viper the infantry viper I thought were really cool I always like to have an army of these kind of things but I don't I may only have one of the regular viper my vipers both the snow vipers and the regular viper got lost in the move from New York to Seattle um, I really don't know what happened. I lost like a whole box of figures. And I, I don't know where they went. And um, kind of bothers me. I mean, I wish I had all that stuff. Because I my Rattler's gone. I mean, my Rattler was complete. It was totally perfect. And that's gone. Um, I lost all the more modern figures. It was basically like the first two waves like 82 83 maybe a little bit of 84 was all I had in the box when I got to Seattle and I don't know what happened to the rest of them and I lost some of my transformers too in that move it was shockwave and megatron yeah a good number of the big ones disappeared so I don't know if a box or two got left behind didn't get on the truck when I moved from New York to Seattle or what but yeah, it was like they were there when I packed up, and when I unpacked in Seattle, they were not there. They were gone. And, uh, yeah, so it means it had to have got left behind some somewhere in the mix when we were loading that van up, the truck up. They're pro they were probably sitting in the apartment I moved from, right? And then whoever moved in there was like, holy crap, two new box, two boxes of toys, you know, or one or two. I don't know how many it was, really. But anyways, we don't need to lament on that stuff anymore. The Cobra Wolf. Missing the Ice Viper driver. But, you know, <laughs> otherwise complete. I think. I think. Let's see. Was there any other feature we needed to show? We forgot the engine cover, didn't we? Yeah, there's an engine cover back here. Let me see if I can get this off.
Come on now. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't cover anything. It covers a blank space. So I don't know why this is, it must've been something for how it fit in the box. It didn't quite fit in the packaging with this on. So they made it a separate piece, I guess. That's gotta be what it was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I guess there is no engine cover. I thought it was an engine cover. You know, most vehicles have an engine cover that you can play with. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you checking this vehicle out with me. Really cool vehicle. Love this thing. Hope you guys got a kick out of this one. Let me know if you had the Cobra Wolf in your collection. Do you have it now? Do you like this vehicle? What are your thoughts? Let me know. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. See ya! Yo, Joe, Cobra! <laughs> That's what I should say. Cobra! <laughs> the quick images I took to show the accessories and characters were from the Ultimate Guide to G.I. Joe, 1982 to 1994, third edition by Mark Bellamo. This is an awesome book for G.I. Joe. If you guys have not seen this yet, I mean, it covers everything and it's just incredible. In extreme detail, showing all the pieces and parts that you need through the years of every vehicle figure, basically all the G.I. Joe stuff made, like he said, from 82 to 94. Highly recommend this book. Highly recommend it.